Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller with Service Management Leadership. We've talked in the last few episodes about some of the obstacles that your organization may encounter for success of adopting ITIL 4. And I want to talk about one that's, that's not talked about very often. If you have adopted your process from OB3 into your tool, and so those are perfectly aligned. And we talked about some of the, the obstacle of the tool side. We didn't talk about the process side. If you are moving, let's say, incident management process V3 to practice ITIL 4, you're going to have to update that, those processes, those metrics. And that's a big effort. So before you embark along that journey, just understand that it's you got to address the process side as well. The process side may be everything from OCM to metrics or RACI, how it interacts with your tool, even equipping your people for success, both on the consumer side and on the SME side. So the process, if you think about it, is going to be, from a practice point of view, very different, possibly, than ITIL V3. The reason is ITIL 4 isn't going to follow that same service life cycle. It's going to look for value, value chain. So what's the most efficient way, most efficient path we get, we go from event, like, hey, something, something's wrong, through closure of that incident, whether then it's through a change, emergency change, or whatever. So we're not going through life cycle stages. We're just saying, how efficient can we be to get this, this incident closed? How do we document the workaround? How do we communicate it? All that fun stuff. And so just make sure that you are understanding the process aspect as you go about your ITIL 4 journey. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us. We ask that you help us get the word out, recommend, refer us to people you know. We just wanted to help other organizations as much as possible. Also, uh, Feel free to connect or follow on LinkedIn and follow our company page. I hope you have a great, great day.